Hey, traders. Dennis Wilborn, the active trend trader. A uh, big question for today is, is the market rally finding traction? Uh, if you are in on the market rally attempt currently, you should be a little bit profitable. But is it going to continue? This is May 17th, 2022. And let's take a look at the charts and see what they are telling us. On the S&P, we're slightly below, uh, before the close. We've got a couple of minutes to go before we close. And it appears as if, as you can see here, that the markets are, in fact, holding their gains for the day. However, comma, we're pushing right up into a downtrend line. And so, and, and it's putting in a hanging man type of hammer, which could in fact mean that, guess what? We hit that, that line right there, the trend line, and we rebound down. We're closing above the eight day moving average, which is very positive for the S&P. And so right now, I would have to say, yes, we are holding traction. What about the NASDAQ? NASDAQ is also, uh, again, breaking above the eight-day moving average. It is uh, moving back up into the Fibonacci's as you're watching here. Uh, every one of the indexes, though, are looking at where might it run into resistance. Well, where it's at right now, because we're putting it in a uh, uh, hanging man, but also up at the downtrend line or the 20-day moving average. Look for stalling. Uh, that's a stalling action once price actions get up there because ultimately the NASDAQ is still in a bear market, guys, and the uh, so is the Russell. What about the Russell? The Russell is also pushing on up right square dab to that downtrend line. It's amazing how you put it in these trend lines, how well they work. Got some positive things going on on the Russell. One, we are breaking out of the trend line on the momentum. That's positive on a daily basis. That's the TSI. That's the true strength index that I utilize. I uh, like it much better than stochastics or RSI. And then market forecast is also turning up from the bottom. What about the weeklies? The weeklies are showing us that we were in an oversold condition on the TSI and the market forecast. And there's the bell and the um, the MACD. And so we may be getting a move up to the upside. How do we want to trade it from here? Well, I, I look for any kind of a pullback towards the eight-day moving average as a potential entry for IWM and a potential for uh, the NASDAQ. What about the trades we've been making? And then there's one other thing I want to show you what's going on on the list of things I want to be trading. Look over to the semis. Semis did, this is a, one of our sector stocks from the autopilot ETF system. And as you can see, the semis, not only did they clear above the eight day moving average, but we closed above the 20 day moving average today and we are breaking out of the downtrend line. Now it's not a surprise to see it come back you know, over the next couple of days to kiss the trend line goodbye before it continues on to its uh, uh, new uptrend. We also I need to get past the 50-day moving average, which links in with this past high right there, about the 247, 250 level. So what about individual stocks? Uh, as you're aware, with the autopilot trading system, we put out two specific uh, pre-flight checklists for our premium members every week. And a couple of stocks we uh, jumped into uh, this week was one, UPRO. Uh, UPRO, based off of Friday's candlestick right here, we put it in order to buy some right there in the midsection, about the $42.50 level. As you can see, we're pushing up nicely, uh, and it is currently up. And UPRO is currently up about just about 6 plus percent. Um, and then another stock that we also jumped in, and again, this was automatically, you know, people who utilize the conditional orders that we suggest and we give tutorials on. This is another one that we jumped in on, ATKR. And it triggered in right here at about the uh, 105.70.71 level, and it's up about 2% currently. 
we'll see if we're going to continue to move up again, up above the eight day moving average, up above the 20. This was more powerful than the rest of the indexes. And so that's the kind of stocks that we look for. And then last but not least, we got into Merck a couple of weeks ago. And where do we get into Merck at? We got into Merck down here at the 86.95 level, right against that support level. And as you can see, we're breaking out and moving on to new highs. Um, and we'll just stick with this until we get a close or a, uh, it breaches the eight day moving average. And again, it's heading up very nicely as you see. So that's what we're looking at for today. Um, this is a new feature that I'm going to be offering with Active Trend Trading. I'm going to post these update uh, videos over to the YouTube channel probably two to three times a week. Let me know what you think about it. I'm trying to keep the time frame for it less than five minutes, uh, which is kind of time challenging for me to do because I like to talk. Um, so, you know, I just want to, you know, my objective with uh, the autopilot trading and active trend trading is to equip traders with a system designed to build wealth and achieve financial freedom. And autopilot trading focuses on both growth stocks and leverage ETF. And so that's what we have for today. We will see you uh, premium members and autopilot members on Friday for the final hour during the last, uh, that's our live uh, video that we do uh, the last hour of the day. And then if uh, you just wanna check us out, uh, you can find us on the YouTube channel live stream at 11 a.m. Pacific time on Fridays for Trade Your Way to Wealth. So this is Dennis Wilburn, the Active Trend Trader, signing off for today.